Hey Stampers, it's Judy and I'm back today with this card that I made featuring the new Beautiful You stamp set from the Occasions Catalog by Stampin' Up! and also um, a classic from the annual catalog called Wetlands. So let's get started. So all I have is a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it's cut at three and three quarters by five and we are going to do some masking today. So I am just going to use some post-it notes to do my masking. And there's other things that you could use like masking tape, but since I don't have any of that right now, I'm just going to use some trusty post-its. I'm going to put that down just a little bit more. Try to get that lined up as best as possible. So we are going to start with some Pacific Point. And I'm just going to use a sponge. So I'm just going to dab this in the ink pad. And then I'm going to start off the paper and just in circular motions, just going to get that color on here and you want to start off the paper because if you start on the paper then you'll get um, like a heavy mark from where you've um, dabbed the ink onto the sponge Turn the paper around and do the same thing. And this is going to be the ocean on the card. And then when you think you've got a good image, you can just do some swiping back and forth. So I think that looks good. Well, I'm done with my Pacific Point, so we'll put that away. And then we will do this top part here in soft sky. I'm 
And I'm just going to use a sponge dauber for this. Again, starting off the edge of the paper. I really love doing these masking techniques. I think they're they're so fun and they are so easy and it is a really cool effect. to re-ink my soft sky. Something a little bit dry. Okay, so I think we're good there. We'll close this up. And then now we're just going to take this stickies off and we will do the sand. So for the sand I am using crumb cake. And I'll need a sponge dauber. I forgot to grab that. I will just use the sponge here. Okay, I'm just going to use a, a sponge. I can't find my little crumb cake dauber right now, so this will work just fine. So again, I'm going to start off the page. Okay, I think that looks good. So we are done with the crumb cake. So we'll close that up. So now what I'm going to do is you can see where I missed a little bit of the um, post-it note, but that's okay. Um, Let's see, so we are going to stamp our birds and our little grass here.
So for the birds, I'm going to stamp in Early Espresso. sure the stamp is aligned up the right way. There we go. And now we are going to use always artichoke for the grass. This is one of my favorite stamp sets out of the Occasions catalog. So I'm just going to stamp off a little bit. Stamp off here. And there we go. All right, that looks pretty good. And for the sentiment, I'm going to use some um, archival black ink. And I think I'm going to change up the sentiment on this one. I think I'm going to use Celebrate. send it for like a birthday card and I'm just going to stamp celebrate all right now for the sake of time I cut out this gorgeous lady here and we're just going to do a little bit of coloring on her, on her dress. So let's see, I'm going to use some Melon Mambo, I think. to use an aqua painter. Now this is not a Stampin' Up! aqua painter. Um, the aqua painters that I have from Stampin' Up! have seen way better days. So, but it's basically the same premise. think we're good. So 
so yeah so I'm just going to take her and do some coloring so what I did I just squeezed some ink into the lid of the ink pad and I'm taking an aqua painter and um, just basically picking up some of that color from the lid I love this image on this stamp set because it looks like she's just having a great day at the beach having some fun Okay, that looks good, so I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to take um, let's go I'll just take some of that soft sky ink that I used for the sky and color in her hat. some ink into the lid got a little bit in there like I said I need to re-ink it looks like yeah I think I will try some pool party for the sake of time and it looks like my pool party is also um, needs re-ink too so let's see if this will work yeah, so I'm just picking up some ink directly from the ink pad and just coloring in her hat here. So we are going to set her aside to dry. I have a piece of Pacific Point cut at four and a quarter um, and scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of crumb cake scored at or cut at four, four by five and a quarter. So we're just going to layer these two on together. using some adhesive here. Alright, so I'm just going to put this on here like so. And then I'm going to take this piece layer it on that all right and then 
then let's see. I am going to put her right there. Oh, I am just going to stamp her image here. Just like so. Like she's having a carefree day at the beach. And I am going to just put some blue dots on the back of her. Just going to line her up and put her on here. I think I need a little more blue dot, or one or two more blue dots. Okay, so there we go. Now, in this one, I used some Winkostella pen to just give her a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if you can see that, just a little bit of shimmer. So let me go grab my Winkostella pen and I will be right back. So here's a Wink of Stella pen. And I'm just going to squeeze it and get it flowing a little bit. And then we're just going to color her just to give her a little bit of shimmer. I love these Wink of Stella pens. They just add the right amount of sparkle to your project. And when that dries, it'll be all shimmery. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, card. And if you have any questions or about this card, please feel free to contact me. Um, you can leave a comment below or you can go to my blog at judyjunk.blogspot.com and always if you'd like to order any of the supplies that I've used today, please feel free to visit my online Stampin' Up! store 24-7 um, and I'll have the link down below. So thanks so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye now.